Before starting the video you must press that like button and subscribe to my channel. I will explain everything. Explaining what B to choose and why I chose it. So, we start with the most known B in the game. This B is known because it is in the most hives, in every hive, because it's the most important B. The basic B. This B is important to have in the hive because it gives you 1.2 pollen as gifted. Helps a lot in boosts. Next up is, the Looker B. The Looker B bring us 25% critical power and is gifted in a focus token that stacks up to 10 times. Don't hesitate to have this B in the hive. One Looker B is enough. Another B is the Rad B. Why Rad B? Because it can give us a red boost token and as a gifted it gives us 15% red pollen. This 15% help us a lot in boosts with multipliers and it's enough to have a bee of this type in the hive. Now we have, the commander bee. This commander bee gives us focus tokens, buzz bomb and as gifted 3% critical chance. This bee helps look your bee with the focus tokens because they have to stack and it gives the bonus critical chance. Good to have one in the hive. The fire bee. The fire bee is good to have it in the hive because it gives red bomb plus. The red bomb plus is an upgrade of the normal red bomb. It gives us a passive. Gathering flames as you can see in the image. Good to have a bee of this type in the hive causes overpowered. We already reached legendary rarities. The baby bee. The baby bee is very 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 overpowered. Why is it overpowered? Because it gives us a token that increase pollen with 2 times and 50% of loot luck. That's great. Huh? Yes but this is not all. Because as a gifted bee it gives 25% loot luck. So. With this baby bee we already have 50 plus 25 plus 50 from the Grandmaster Cloverfield badge that means we have 125% loot luck. A baby bee is enough to have in the hive. Carpenters. The carpenters are very useful. You don't have to miss this bee from the hive. You need 4 bees of this type in the hive. 4 carpenters that gives us honey mark plus that means is better than the normal honey mark. A pollen mark that marks a random area for 7 seconds. Increase you carpenter level for plus 0.2. The music bee is one of the most essential bees in the game. Is essential because in every hive we have this bee. It gives melody token that grants 100% critical chance for 30 seconds. Focus and token link. Token link collects all of the tokens. Yes but this bee is not precious only by his other stats. It's precious because it can give us as a gifted bee 25% pollen from bee gathering. What it means. It means that all the pollen that is gathered by your bees is multiplied by 25%. That's so cool and you need to have at least two of them in the hive. Shia bee, Shia bee as we can see is unique. Recently Onet added the passive, Nectar Lover. It means that this bee loves to sip much more nectar than the other bees, twice as much nectar. It gives us red bomb and red boost, and as a gifted it gives 5% bee ability pollen. This bee is perfect in a red hive because it helps a lot. You need only one shy bee or maximum two of them. Here we have some problems. I chose to have a buoyant bee in the hive because as you all know red sucks on conversion on instant conversion. So, my amulet got recently changed because it has less red pollen. Now my recent amulet has more red pollen but less instant conversion. So I decided to add a buoyant bee because it gives me that balance. It gives the balance that can increase our capacity and as a gifted bee it gives a bonus, 1.2 times of capacity. You are not forced to use this bee in your red hive, instead of this bee you can do precise or spicy bee. Now the things goes crazy because you laugh at me. But Zap, why do you use the fuzzy bee? You are so new, your hive sucks. I got no other fuzzy accounts. I got no friends with this bee so I decided to replace a bee with this one because I have to do my brown bear quests. Yeah that's kinda smart. Since I replaced this fuzzy, I got much more pollen per second. I can do over 500 millions pollen per second. Without any boosts, I do not know how, but fuzzy bee is kinda overpowered. I get shocked every time I reach a record. If you think that this fuzzy sucks in a red hive just replace it with spicy or precise bee. Tadpoles tadpoles and tadpoles. These bees are good in this hive because they have the ability to spawn frogs that spawns bubbles that helps with flowers to grow that increase pollen per second. As a gifted bee this bee is perfect in this hive because it gives baby love token. The token that gives us 2 times pollen and 50 loot luck, and 10 pollen, 
plus 25 instant bubble conversion. It means that when the bubble pop, the pollen from it instant converts with 25%. You need to have two or three tadpoles in the hive. I recently have two. Next up, the vector bees. The vector bees works up together with the carpenter ones but the vectors are much more better. They has better stats. This big gifted can give 15% mark duration. So I advise you to do 4 carpenters and 4 vector bees because they are very useful. And now we are here, at the event bees. As we all know, as a red hive we do not need cobalt bees so remove it. Puppy bee too but one more thing. If you have the hive level 15 and you want to progress in level fast. Just replace your gifted vicious bee with this puppy bee. Your puppy must be gifted, do bear bee, crimson bee, festa bee, gummy bee, photon bee, tabby bee, vicious bee and windy bee. Puppy bee and cobalt are out. Only puppy can be placed when you need it. Remember only bee that can be changed with with puppy can be rare or vicious bee. I advise you to switch it with a rare bee cause you can get it back faster. Make sure to like and make sure to subscribe to my channel because this took me a lot to make. Thank you all for the support. I hope you have a great day. Bye. <music>